Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So actually I was somehow hesitating before posting this video because I'm thinking that it's not right it's not the right thing in my opinion to post a midweek analysis video. Please allow me to explain the reason, it's very important. So as you can see, uh, that the US dollar is still very weak and as you can see all of my signals have went right to the take profit level i have mentioned for example euro usd have went to uh, th the take profit with 120 pips of profit pound usd straight to the take profit level with 100 pips of profit aud usd also is uh, ranging until now it's running so far in 67 pips of profit usd cad is running right now in almost uh, somehow 57 pips uh, USDGPY has just hit the take profit today and you can see it's in 142 pips of profit but I think it doesn't count because I mentioned that we can expect a pullback and we can sell right here. Uh, mo <clears throat> moving to the USDCHF we can see that the pair is still running in a good profit of uh, almost 40 pips of profit. Meanwhile the gold was really shocking it has reached my take profit level making 240 pips of profit and it has exceeded it with oh my god 837 pips so the the dollar is so weak now the point i'm i'm, I'm i really want to mention here is that today something might happen it actually might change this whole analysis uh, today actually at 10 p.m dubai time 6 p.m gmt time we can expect from the federal fund rate the news and fomc statement uh, they are gonna uh, either keep the same uh, rates, uh, the interest rates for the federal bank uh, 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 rate, or they're gonna increase it. Either way, it's uh, gonna affect actually the pair, and this might actually affect the US dollar. I think if the rates are still at 0.25 percent, I think that's not gonna really do much. Uh, it's not gonna affect the pair, but if they made it zero. Uh, no, they cannot make it I think less than uh, 0 0.25 they have if they have increased it it might it might definitely affect the pair so please my friends keep in your mind you need to watch the news keep your eyes on these news they can change the whole uh, analysis you are about to see right now what we are going to do right now is um, do the analysis based on the current uh, situation for the US dollar and what's in my, in my opinion what's going to happen with the us dollar so actually now if we look at the dxy chart which means the dollar index we can see that the dollar right now is ranging on the support at 93.20 and in my opinion that's the lowest it can go to and it depends of course as i said on these outcomes and uh, on the outcome news from the federal uh, bank uh, rates statement so in other words um most likely what will gonna happen that the dollar is gonna reverse let me show you let me show you hold on it's uh, somewhere somewhere yes it's here this is the us dollar index currency uh, and you can see my friends right now the dollar is at 93.20 uh, if we move to the weekly chart that is actually the lowest the pair has been uh, since um, june 2018 and in my opinion one second that's the reason i hate the trading view chart uh, from my opinion if the dollar is gonna actually break out from 93 it's gonna keep falling all the way to hit 92 uh, sorry 91 so that's gonna be really bad for the currency however uh what i'm what i'm personally expecting from the dxy if everything went well and this news did not change much of the chart or the currency we can expect from the dxy to fall a little bit more down hitting the previous support and then rise a little bit retesting the broken support level at 95 and then if the situation for the US dollar is still bad it's just gonna be a pullback and then the pair is gonna continue the fall now that being said uh, from the uh, pound USD we can expect let me just delete uh, the, uh, the previous analysis and now from the pound USD we can expect from from the pair to rise a little bit more exactly like uh, right here at 1.29483 and it might rise for another 26 pips before it's gonna be good for the short let me move again to the uh, four hour chart and daily chart uh, as, we, as we can see let me delete all of that actually let me delete all of them 
so it's gonna be so much easier for us all right okay that's better so as you can see the d the bound uh, the usd the power uh, the, my friends <laughs> sorry about that the pound usd is about to reach the highest level of the resistance as we can see right here actually my eyes is looking right here so that's the resistance level which is gonna definitely keep its position as a resistance and therefore we can expect to short the pound usd right at that uh, point so um, if that happens we don't want to keep the short for a long time we're just gonna about to get the pullback which i am expecting for it to keep falling only to hit that previous support level right here exactly right here so that's actually gonna be a good uh, trade in my in my opinion so let's just do it sell the pound the uh, usd at 1.29517 and let me draw for you the safe zone so we know exactly how far we can keep the trade running uh, it depends actually on that resistance level exactly right here so we can keep it in the zone of the resistance exactly like that and it's gonna be ranging for almost 53 pips before we decide that we should close it with the loss so here is the zone exactly like that and that is the take profit level at the previous support on take profit on 1.28582 again this is really a small uh, it's like really a short uh, term trade because as i told you we still don't know how it's gonna uh, work out for the um, statement from the federal uh, rate for the interest rate from the federal bank so we have to be careful and wise anyway if that uh, trade w uh, went well it can provide for us 95 pips of profits Oh, okay, we, st we started with the pound USD. All right, let's go to the AUD USD. Now for the AUD USD, let me just also delete the previous signal. All right, so going to the daily chart, we can look at the left and we can see that the pair is gonna continue the rise a little bit uh, for, yeah, exactly like that, for like, I think 35 pips. Let me just see. Remember, I'm right now on the daily chart. So, okay, like that actually less than that yes that's even perfect like that yes so going back to the four hour chart uh, AUD USD should be good for the short sell AUD USD at 0 0.71923 and for the safe zone is gonna be arranging in the previous uh, sorry in the uh, in the resistance zone like that that's gonna be about even more than that actually we can expect it for it in that resistance level like that yes perfect 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 all right so it's gonna be about 50 pips and one second my friends all right let me again go back to the current price so if that happened we can expect from the pair to fall to the previous resistance this one right here and right here as 0 0.69407 uh, the pair most likely if it's gonna reverse at the mentioned point it's gonna fall for almost okay that's not realistic let me just give yes that's that, that's actually more convenient sorry about that uh it's gonna fall for almost 150 pips uh, to hit that previous resistance uh, the previous key resistance so definitely in my opinion we're gonna witness uh when this uh, this previous resistance level is gonna be retested again after the pull the bullish breakout from that level and it's gonna become the new support level right here therefore uh, AUD USD is good for the sell as I said at that level and this is your safe zone to keep the trade running for almost I think it's only 53 pips yes and that is your take profit level my friends is right here take profit at 0 0.70339 so hopefully it's gonna also be profitable and we're gonna make some good profit out of it uh, let's move right now to the USD CAD USD CAD as I mentioned, the dollar is still falling, and I believe the dollar might actually continue the, the USD CAD is gonna continue the fall to hit that previous support level right there on 1.33172. At that point, in my opinion, it's gonna be a good level to start buying the pair, and we can keep the trade running until it hit the previous resistance level on 1.34292. So let me just uh, write for you the levels where we can start buying the pair. 
by the USD CAD at 1.33172. And by the way, if you want to short the USD CAD right now immediately, uh, it's not really a bad idea. However, uh, I prefer always to enter at the reversal points. And it's actually more safe in my opinion to do that. Actually, it might be ranging until that support level for 45 pips. Yes. So that's going to be your safe zone to keep the trade running. And our take profit level is going to be given on 1.34292. Hopefully, it's also going to be a good signal and we will make good profits out of it. Moving to the EURUSD. EURUSD, I, I don't expect for it to rise uh, more than that resistance level right here on 1.1752 on weekly chart we can see that we have reached uh, a strong resistance level and the market was not able to exceed that level since 2018 now that level is very strong and i believe we can expect a reversal all the way actually to hit the previous resistance level right here that being said let's see where we can expect to keep the trade running uh, let me just go to the left exactly and see the strong support level exactly now the reason i selected that level is it was a strong key resistance in the past and it was also a strong support as we can see the pair was not able really to break out of that level since uh, 2018 then finally october 2018 the the price has managed to fall below that resist uh, support level that being oh my god okay that being said uh, we are, let me see how many pips is that yeah 100, 100 150 pips so USD, EURUSD is going to be good for the short at 1.1775 sorry 5.2 wait a minute wrong 1.1752 hmm always doing that always I have to be careful all right, and the take profit level is going to be given on the previous resistance, as I said, 1.16208. And for the safe zone, let me go again to the daily, okay, we are in the daily chart. Let me just zoom out and let's go to the left. I think we can make it ranging inside that resistance zone exactly like that. So that's going to be about 50. Actually, that's a lot. Hold on. Exactly. That's better. So it's going to be ranging uh, for 45 pips, I think. Let me just uh, check again for you, my friends. And just be sure, be sure, be sure. Yes, almost 40, 45 pips is going to be ranging. And I hope, I hope it's going to be a good signal and we will make good profits out of it. Now for the USDGPY. USDGPY also is, it, it was really a good signal. And we can see that the USDGPY is still falling right now i don't see any chance for the usdgpy to rise actually the usdgpy is gonna continue the fall in my opinion until it hit the strong key support level right here on 104.492 therefore uh, i don't see again any hope for the usdgpy to rise before that therefore uh usdgpy is gonna be good for the short right away at 105.2 zero five eight at the moment of recording this video and you can keep the thread running as i said until it hit the previous uh, support level take profit on 104.492 now for the safe zone it's gonna be ranging uh, in that previous support level uh, sorry the, uh, the resistance level let me just mention that this is exactly the level where we, are, where we can start shorting the pair and that is the safe zone it's inside the resistance is gonna be uh, for 60 pips but really i really doubt that the pair is even gonna reach that level i think it's gonna continue the fall so therefore that's the level i'm gonna give for the safe zone keep the thread running and hopefully we can get about actually the safe zone is uh, a little bit uh, too much to be honest um we just need to be realistic also let me just decrease it a little bit let me go to the one hour chart exactly now on the one hour chart we can see it more clear all right exactly like that perfect 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 now it's gonna be ranging for almost uh, 41 pips for the safe zone and for the take profit is gonna be 55 pips hopefully gonna be in a good profit 
USDCHF also still falling and it has exceeded our take profit if I'm not mistaken. Wait a minute. Go to the day weekly. Oh, not yet. Not yet. It hasn't, re it hasn't yet reached uh, the take profit level. So regarding the USDCHF, uh, we are going to keep the thread running. If you guys have the thread open, please keep it running. Don't close it. Uh, USDCHF is going to fall, in my opinion, for another 82 pips before the reversal. Therefore, we can keep the thread running from the last weekly analysis uh, signal. Uh, only change the take profit to be on 0 0.90835. That's our new take profit level and hopefully it's going to work out. Now to the gold. The gold, which is actually really not easy signal to be given at all. Uh, now for the gold, my friends, uh, please give me a moment. I need to do some really more analysis before being sure about it. I will pause the recording and I'll be back to you. All right. After doing some analysis and just being sure about what I'm about to say, uh, the gold, I think, is going to continue to rise all the way to the price of 2000. That's almost for sure, in my opinion, is going to reach 2000 very soon. It just uh, has stopped uh, 200 pips before reaching that level. Now, in my opinion, the gold is not going to immediately reach that level. As we can see, we only have one attempt of a support and it was a strong pressure from the sellers to take the market down to 1,900 again. And I think the price has already reached 1,900, as you can see. It's one, uh, it reversed on 1,906 and I believe it's going to continue the rise again after the pullback. That means... That means we are actually going to short the gold for the short term, uh, sell the gold at uh, 1,961.99. Uh, but please keep the thread running for really short term. Uh, I think I'm going to change it to be only to that support level on 1,930. Um, definitely the price or the, the gold is going to go even below the, uh, higher than that. However, as I mentioned, it all depends on the outcome news about the interest of federal bank. Uh, so you have to be, fr uh, my friends, you have to be really careful about uh, trading the gold. What I'm going to tell you now is be careful because what we are trading right now is actually the pullback. It's going to be, in my opinion, lasting for 300 pips. However, we still have to be very, very careful. Um, actually, I'm thinking to change it, to be honest with you. I'm thinking to make it a buy at 1930 instead of sell at 1961. However, going to the daily chart, believe me, it's not simple at all to give the signal for the gold at the moment because nobody in the world knows how the dollar, how, oh, sorry, how the gold is reacting to this because, as I mentioned, the gold has reached a historic level, actually. Uh, it has never reached it before. And everyone, all the investors actually actually keeping their eyes on it, they are expecting from the gold to reach to, to uh, the level of $2,000, which is really historical price. Therefore, uh, we just need to be very careful about this, my friends. Therefore, I'm going to change the signal just for the pullback only, nothing more. So uh, I'm going to keep the sell, uh, the sell signal. And the take profit level is going to be changed to be the previous resistance level on 1,941.96. And that's it. Let's just be careful. I'm certainly sure that the gold is going to make the pullback. And for the safe zone, it's going to be ranging for almost 100 pips. That's a lot. Let me go back to the th uh, one hour chart. Exactly right here. That's, that's enough. No need higher than that. Go to the 30 minute. I'm just looking at the candles. Um, at the details of the candles I don't want to give you my friends a bad signal I'm trying my best really trust me uh, therefore we can now notice that I have moved right now to the 15 minute time frame just to be sure about my signal I don't want to th uh, the safe zone to be ranging for 100 pips that's a lot of pips uh, to be risking uh, of, uh, to lose actually all right so that's going to be our signal for the gold as I mentioned, the sell on 1,961 and the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 68 pips. And let me just fix this one as also. This is the sell and that is going to be our take profit level. And hopefully if this signal worked out very well, we can expect almost 200 pips profit out of this signal. So 
I think I need to post this video quickly and in the end really I hope that uh, guys this is going to be a profitable and good week and again I have to remind you please be extra careful when you are trading the gold it's, it's on a very sensitive level right now please keep your eyes on the news anything actually might happen might actually change all of these signals that you have just seen so in the end uh, I hope this is gonna be a very profitable week as I said and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching